is Kate and I'll be taking you through a very simple basic practice to find a little bit of release in the body and just gentle basic yoga and a little bit of breath work too. So sitting up on something, whether that's a hardback book or a cushion, it's quite nice to raise the seat. It's okay for you to sit um, in a cross-legged seated position or maybe like this with one foot in front of the other. If you find that a little bit uncomfortable, maybe kneeling, but that's not everybody's cup of tea either. And you can place a blanket, uh, or blanket or you know a rolled up towel or even a cushion underneath uh, the pelvis. Please make sure you're comfortable. Don't do anything that doesn't feel helpful and nurturing. Go very gently and softly, listen to your body and enjoy. So we're gonna start by sitting upright. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. Maybe there's some feedback somewhere in the body. Maybe you've had quite a stressful day or you're maybe you're just beginning your day, just noticing how you feel right here, right now. And just taking a moment to land, to arrive, to pause and to be. And then observing the breath. coming and going of the breath, the rise and the fall. Trying not to deepen it, just to watch it as it is. Which is easier said than done, as the mind is meant to be busy, made to think. If you've got a lot on your plate, then you know, it's very hard to switch the mind off. But what the breath does is give us a tool to be very present, to be in the here and now. So we're just focusing on the breath, watching the breath come and go. And it can be very useful to count the breaths, to give something to focus upon. So maybe counting in one, for an inhale, counting out two, exhale, counting in for three, Counting out for four, and so on and so forth, just up until the count of ten. When the mind wanders, you simply notice that and come back to the number that you left off. When you reach ten, you start over. Just try that for a round or two. Breathing in for one, breathing out for two, with a nice upright spine. Noticing when the mind wanders and bringing it back to the number you left off on. Coming back to the breath. The breath that is always there. Always steadfast and always present. Start to deepen the breath, make a little bit more of it. Good, bring your hands to your belly. See if you can fill your hands with your breath. Either breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, if you've had some yoga practice before. If not, then just breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, just letting the breath flow. And as you breathe, noticing the effect the breath has on the body. It's a softening in the body, physically. Noticing there's a calming effect on the mind. Just 
noticing how you feel as you breathe. And then we'll take the hands to underneath the armpits on the side ribs and just breathing widthways. You're trying to fill your hands with your breath. Breathing in, expanding the lungs, the rib cage, and breathing out. Breathing to, breathing out. Breathing three, and breathing out. And bring your hands to your heart center. Maybe having some kind of intention, if you like. Maybe just sending yourself a little bit of love or someone you know who might need it. If that kind of side of you that doesn't really resonate with you, then just be here. Send yourself a little bit of love. Take a moment just to breathe into the chest, breathing into the upper part of the lungs. Feeling the breath in your hands. Breathing in. And breathing out. A couple more rounds of breath here. Good. And let's have a little change of seat. So taking... Um, I've got a block here, a yoga block. You probably wouldn't have one of those. So. Maybe a cushion might be quite nice to sit up on the edge of the cushion. Just do some very gentle neck stretches. So taking your left hand to the top of the right ear, drawing your left ear down towards your left shoulder, extending and reaching your right arm away, softening the shoulder down. And just gently allowing the right side of the neck to open. Slowly come back through centre, square yourself off, switch sides. You might notice that one side of the neck is a lot tighter than the other side, just noticing that. We have habitual patterns, we're right and left handed, that takes a lot. It really does, it takes a, a real, uh, that, that really is a lot for the body to take on, so there will be differences. Slowly come back through centre. I'm going to go for the back corner now, so you're looking at about 45 degrees. Draw the chin down, you're going to massage the right side of the neck, the shoulders. Back of the neck, back of the skull. And switch sides, come back through centre, go the other way. Good, you might feel that it's quite niggly, quite tight. Really good to get a massage if you can. Um, interesting times, might be harder now, so maybe you can persuade someone you know to give you a little rub. Be really beneficial. Come back through centre and then just placing the fingertips at the back of the head very lightly. The weight of the head is sufficient, you don't need to apply any pressure at all. And I'll turn around for this so you can see. I'm just massaging the side of the spine here, just the flesh on the side right up to the base of the skull here. Just a little release here. Might feel a bit gnarly, a bit niggly, particularly if you've been under a lot of stress. Good. And we're just gonna to start to massage the hair, the head, stimulating blood flow to the brain. And just feeling that. Might mess up your hair a bit, but it's worth it. Good, and then we're gonna peel away the frown line. So just massaging the top of the, the, for, the front of the forehead here. Massaging the temples. A lot of tension stored in the face, often. Um, bring your middle fingers to the top of the nose, the brows. We're gonna massage up and out over the eyebrows. Massaging un underneath the eyes, stimulating sinuses, helping lymphatic drainage, coming down to the jaw. A lot of tension in the jaw for many people, grinding teeth. And so just really see any tension there, the ears. 
And let's just roll the shoulders forward a few times. A few times one way, a few times the other way. You make a little bit more of that by bringing the hands to the shoulders, sweeping the arms up, back, down and around. Up, back, down and around. Let's go three times and then three times the opposite way. Good, really, really nice. And then take your left hand out to the left, soften the elbow. Just gently reach your arm up. Notice how that feels. If you can't get the arm all the way out, then you do your best. If you can, then try and get a straight elbow, but you're soft in the supporting arm. Feeling a lovely opening through the chest, looking skyward. Gently come back through centre, go the other way. Soft through the elbow, open up the chest, reaching through the fingertips. Let's go again. Come back through centre. Open up. Come back through centre. This time I'll come to the side now. You might still be on your cushion, it might be more helpful. To open up the chest, you bring your hands behind, squeeze shoulders, and lift breastplate, lift heart. Opening up, this is really lovely. Uh, it's a really lovely antidote to modern living, all that flexion that we do all day long. So really nice to open up the chest, breathing in and breathing out. Good. So we'll do a little bit of more breath work using the arm. Again, it might be nice to sit up. If you're comfortable in a cross-legged seated position, that might work for you. It may not be. You can have your legs straight out. Make sure you're comfortable. Inhale, reach, lift and lengthen. Exhale, slowly coming down. Inhale, reaching skyward. Exhale, slowly coming down. Breathing in. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, reach, lift and lengthen. This time interlace the fingers, stretch, reach up high. Lengthen through all four sides of the waist, inhale. Exhale, let the arms come down, inhale, reaching skyward, this time switching the interlace, reaching high, find that length, breathing in, breathing out, and gently release. Good. So I'm going to come to the side because it's a little bit easier for you to see. I'm going to take the knees wide, hold just below the knees. I'm just going to very, very gently start to move the spine, so you're coming forwards, arching to come forwards and then you're rounding to come backwards. We're going to start to work incrementally, so just a little bit of movement here. Coming forwards, coming backwards, coming forwards, coming backwards. And maybe start to make a bit more of that if that feels okay for you. Remember everything should feel really helpful and nurturing, no strain or stress in the body. Working with integrity, building up gently, slowly, mindfully. And we're going to stir a bit of a soup. So you're going to come forward, a bit of a circular movement. I'm noticing how that feels for you. A few times one way, and then a few times the other way. Good. And come back through centre. We're going to reach the Right arm up, out and over to make three big, big circles, sweeping skyward. And then go the other way. And the other arm. Maybe following your fingertips with your eye line to get a little bit more of a stretch. Three nice big circles. And then three big circles going the other way. And then we're going to do um, a little bit of swimming. I'm going to sit back up on my rock to raise the seat. I'm going to do some nice breaststrokes. So inhale, reach, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, coming forward, big breaststroke, opening up, hands behind. And we get that nice chest opening once again. Breathing into your heart space. Inhale, reach, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands come down through heart centre. Inhale, coming forward, big breaststroke. 
opening up the arms, bring the hands behind, lift up to heaven. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming forwards, big sweep of the arms, coming behind, lifting up. One last time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming forwards, opening up, bring the hands behind. Lift your chest, breathing in and breathing out. Good. We're going to come to all fours. Um, I don't know what your floor is like. If it's carpeted, you should be okay, but it might be quite tough if you're on a tough floor, in which case you can put a blanket or some cushions. You don't need a yoga mat, you might just be on the carpet, that should be fine, but make sure your knees get okay. It can be sometimes nice to give them a bit more padding. Wrists directly below shoulders, knees directly below hips. I'm just gonna do some very gentle spinal release. So inhale, you arch. Exhale, you round. So we start really small movements to begin. If it feels okay, you can work incrementally into it. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Lovely thing to do on a daily basis if it feels helpful for you. Releasing tension in the spine, creating a little bit of mobility and flexibility. And release. Good. Let me just swing the pelvis a little bit from side to side. A little bit from side to side. Tiny circles as though you're drawing a circle with your tailbone. A few times one way, a few times the other way. And then moving the hips a little bit more to the sides if that feels okay. Notice how that feels. Slightly bigger circles now. Good. I'm going to tuck the toes. It can be a very strong stretch. So take it easy as you come back. It's very nice for the feet, opening up the connective tissue. And let's just give the wrists a little shake out. Good. Coming forward once again. Untuck the toes, a little patter of the feet. Take the knees as wide as you need to. And we're going to come back. I like to tuck the toes again for this one. Coming back and then requiring a little bit more upper body strength. So we're going to come forwards, ripple through the spine, come back hips to heels. Coming forwards, inhaling forwards, rippling through the spine, come back hips to heels. Inhaling forwards, rippling through the spine, hips to heels. Just noticing how that feels in your body. Is it okay for your knees, your ankles? Please never do anything that doesn't feel okay for you. You can make it a much smaller movement if you need to. And then once you've got the hang of that, we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna to round to come forward and we're gonna to arch to come back. Rounding to come forward, arching to come back. Rounding forwards, arching back. We're just going to do a little bit of free movement now, so kind of just circling through the body, maybe it's a bit of a figure of eight, and noticing which parts of the body feel less mobile and less free. So there's no right or wrong here, you might be feeling quite, quite cat-like, just having a little play with this circular movement. Maybe your right hip feels quite tight, you go over that a little bit, maybe it's your left shoulder. Just exploring your body noticing how it feels. It's a lovely thing to do on a daily basis to create a little bit of mobility. And if it's okay for your knees, untuck the toes, take the knees as wide as you need to. You can gently come back to what's known as child pose and resting here. That may not be so comfortable for your knees. So what you can do is get a blanket or a cushion and you can place that behind your legs or you can just raise your seat and make it a little bit higher 
so you can rest here if that feels better for you. But just coming to rest, coming to breathe, and see if you can really let go here. Finding a softness, allowing the body to take on board the work that you have done. Just softening here, breathing in, and breathing out, opening up the back of the lungs. And if for whatever reason it's just not comfortable for you, that's okay. It doesn't have to be comfortable. You might just come up and rest like this. You could always lean up against a chair. That might be quite nice. Just finding a little bit of comfort to at least be more square onto the chair. I just wanted you to be able to see how that was. Good. And just relaxing. Letting go, letting the breath come and go. Noticing how you feel, maybe staying here for a little bit longer. And just gently releasing as and when you're ready. And take care. Bye-bye.